Good morning. Welcome to the Wex Wake Up for Wednesday, November 1st. I'm Christy Matino. The White House is remaining tight lipped on Trump's 14th Amendment trial that's happening in Colorado. Press Secretary Crean Jean Pierre declined to comment on Tuesday when Washington Examiner reporter Christian Daytalk asked her about that lawsuit that's aimed to keep former President Donald Trump off the 2024 election ballot in Colorado. Uh, I don't have anything to say about that. I'm not tracking that very closely. There's no concern that if former President Trump is taken off the ballot, it might embolden support for him in other states? Uh, look, I'm just going to be really, really careful on anything that is related to um, ballots, elections, uh, upcoming elections, especially as, especially as you're asking me uh, about 2024. I'm just not going to comment. I'm certainly not going to comment from this podium. Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington filed this lawsuit claiming that Trump's action on and leading up to the January 6th Capitol riot disqualifies him from being on the ballot. The week-long trial in the case opened on Monday, and it could create a precedent for disqualifying Trump from winning the presidency. And Congressman Jim Jordan announced that the Judiciary Committee has launched an investigation into the Department of Justice due to alleged spying on congressional staff and members of Congress. The investigation comes after reports came out that Jason Foster, who is Senator Chuck Grassley's former chief investigative counsel, had allegedly been spied on by the DOJ. We know they spied on President Trump's campaign. We know all that from the FISA court and what they did with Carter Page and Papadopoulos, everything else. Now we've learned that they spied on one of Senator Grassley's staff members, Jason Foster. We want to know, does it go further? As part of this investigation, Jordan sent letters to the CEOs of companies like Apple, T-Mobile, and Verizon asking for information on alleged attempts by the DOJ to get the private communications of members of Congress and staff. So we've sent letters not only to the Department of Justice, but to all these carriers that the Department of Justice worked with to get the phone records, the email records, from congressional staffers like Mr. Foster. And Senator Josh Hawley is calling for Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas to be impeached, saying terrorists have an invitation to come to the United States. Now this comes after Mayorkas attended a Senate Homeland Security hearing on Tuesday. He was asked about illegal immigration at the southern border and how DHS employees feel about Israel. After hours of heated back and forth debate, Hawley then criticized the Biden administration's policies. He needs to be impeached. I mean, really, I think we have it has risen to the level when you systematically disregard the laws of this country, when you systematically mislead the American people and lie, as you said, lie and lie and lie to Congress and the American people. You're not doing your job and you should be removed. Now, according to Mayorkas, Border Patrol observed but was unable to arrest more than 600,000 immigrants who illegally entered the United States over the past year, in addition to the 2 million people that agents were able to arrest. Thank you for joining us this morning on The Wax Wake Up. Be sure to give us a follow online and on social media so you stay in the know of all those headlines turning in politics.